You got that sunlight Keeping me in the clouds You're like a landslide Taking all of my doubt It's high time we both lined our lives up grocery shopping trip and I want to show you everything that we got so this video I want to show you all the healthy things that we got that are budget friendly so you can eat healthy on a budget and we like to go to Walmart a lot for our healthy grocery shopping trips we didn't really realize that Walmart was gonna be picked over it we didn't really have a whole lot of options this time at Walmart because 
We got snowed on last night, big time. Here in Tacoma, it doesn't snow hardly at all. I don't think it snowed at all last year, so we really don't get much snow. Last night, it dumped snow, and this morning, it dumped snow. I don't think a lot of people are used to that, so Walmart's employees were like, it was like skeleton crew working, so I think they just couldn't restock the shelves very fast, so we kind of had to make do with what they had. We still got a lot of um, our staple items, but there are a few items that we're missing, so we'll probably have to go to Fred Meyer or Trader Joe's in a couple days from now. But we still got a lot of healthy things, a lot of the things that we normally eat. In the clips that you just saw, I tried to include prices on the items that we got and on healthy items too. We didn't get everything in those clips, but I kind of wanted to show you guys some healthy options with price tags. If you're just coming across my videos now, hit the subscribe button down below for more healthy living videos. I upload one to two videos a week based on my work schedule. I'm a full-time ICU nurse, so some weeks are crazier than others. All right, so let's get into the video now I want to show you all of our healthy grocery items we got at a good price of course as always as you guys know I'm gonna start with the cold items because I want to put those in the fridge and then we'll go to the shelf stable items so come on over here as always as part of the routine frozen broccoli frozen cauliflower and broccoli combination we use these every single week as a very quick, fast, healthy dinner option. And I use those a lot after work uh, because my work day is really long and so it's really easy for me to just throw these frozen vegetables in a pan, heat them up, and that's my dinner. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, the cruciferous vegetables, you don't need to buy organic. Got some fresh broccoli here, so you can save money on that. Over here, celery. I've been really into celery juice lately. I've been on the Whole30 diet for two weeks now and it's going really well and so as part of the Whole30 diet I like to drink my celery juice in the morning. You gotta buy your celery organic because that is part of the dirty dozen. You don't want to drink pesticides so um, I do juice celery every morning right now. Over here, so these are just avocados like single serving size which is really convenient. Costco sells these and we bought these a couple weeks ago and really liked them. So Walmart has a good price on them too. So actually they are a little bit cheaper than the whole avocados right now. So that's an option for you if you like avocado. Uh, tomatoes, you should buy organic. They didn't have the organic option, so we're just gonna use my vegetable wash from Trader Joe's that I really like to wash these off, to wash off the pesticides. Organic tomatoes are actually more nutrient dense too, so you really wanna buy organic on the tomatoes if you can. Bell pepper too. We got bell pepper and red onion and cucumber for uh, Josh is really into Greek salads lately. <laughs> so he bought that for his salads, but Peppers and cucumbers need to be organic. So Walmart had organic cucumbers for a good price, but didn't have organic bell peppers. So of course we'll just use the vegetable wash to wash off all the residue. You don't need to buy onion organic, so we didn't. So you can save money on that. Spaghetti squash, because I'm gluten free and I like eating spaghetti squash in place of regular pasta. Don't have to buy that organic because you're just eating the insides. Potatoes here, I got three sweet potatoes and one regular potato. Potatoes I can eat on the Whole30 diet, so I've been eating a lot of potatoes. You should buy those organic. These are not organic. Walmart didn't have an organic option. They have a good price on potatoes though. So of course, just use my wash and scrub them really well, and that's totally fine. I do like to slice these um, into thinner slices, about like a fourth to a half an inch thick, and I use that as toast because I can't eat any gluten right now, and I'm on the Whole30 diet, so no grains at all either. So I'll slice them and bake the slices in the oven and use that as like a toast. So I'll top avocado on top of chicken, protein. I did do a video on sweet potato toast recipe, so go check that out if you want to. I'll link that down below if you want to try that. And then feta cheese for my husband's Greek salads. Cheese should be organic, but they didn't have the organic option, but this was about $3, which is really good for feta cheese. So once in a while, non-organic, I mean, I think it's okay, but you should buy your cheeses organic. Good price on eggs. These eggs are organic, they're free range. Better to buy pasture raised eggs actually, but free range is not too bad. It does have, these eggs do have the label USA Organic and Certified Humane. I like, those labels are really important for produce and um, so that means that the animals are treated well and the organic is really good. That means that the nutrition profile of the eggs will be higher and the chickens are fed organic feed. So we want that in our bodies too. Same with the meat. They have a really good price on organic grass-fed ground beef. You want all of your red meats 100% grass-fed. That way the meats are very a lot healthier for you than just regular conventional meats. 
Okay, so I think each one of these were about five-ish dollars. That's pretty good price on 100% um, grass-fed beef. Onions, because I love sauteed onions with my vegetables and meals and things like that. They have a good price on bulk onions, so you don't have to buy those organic either because you're peeling off the peel. They have a good price on shrimp. We like our shrimp. Uh, we saute it a lot in a pan and put it in tomato sauce and top the sauce on pasta or in my case spaghetti squash so that's a really quick easy meal for us to, to have these were a splurge if you buy king salmon anywhere it's gonna be a lot pricier than just regular pink salmon but it's got the sustainable label it's very important to buy your salmon your fish uh, wild caught sustainable so it, I, I'm okay with paying a little bit more for high quality Fish. So yogurt here, um, normally we buy organic yogurt for the same reasons as the produce, but they didn't have an organic option. Actually, they did have an organic option, but their organic option didn't have much protein in it. Um, if you want a lot of protein in your yogurt, it's better to buy Greek yogurt. So we got the Greek yogurt option. I'm not eating this because I'm not eating dairy, but um, Josh likes it in the morning with granola. It's not organic, but it's still a good yogurt to buy. It's got a really clean nu nutrient profile. It's got really good ingredients. It's just milk and then cultures and it's non-GMO. So this is a good option, even though it's not organic. Ready? Okay. We just put the cold stuff away. I'm like burning up, you guys. <laughs> I have my thermal like underwear on under my clothes and we just shoveled snow at our complex and I'm like, that's why I'm wearing this stuff. I didn't want to change just for the video, but I'm like burning up now. And my hands are cold from putting away the cold stuff, so. Okay, <laughs> all right, so let's get into the other items. Oh my goodness, here we go. <laughs> I'm actually surprised she didn't join us at the beginning of the video. This is Bella, for those of you who don't know, She's my cat who can't stay away from any type of video. <laughs> Every time we turn on the camera, she has to be right in the middle of the action. Let's come over here. Okay, we'll start at the beginning. This is salmon that is really good price. Each packet is $1.19. I like to use this on top of my salads and I bring it a lot to work. It's really convenient and you can just like bring the packet to work with me, open it top it on the salad and I'm good to go. So I really like, this is a really nice uh, source of protein for me. We bought a ton of them because they're so cheap. Okay, this is really convenient option if we're running short on time. And all you have to do is microwave this and it's organic. Good to have organic grains. They have a really, really good price on Rao's tomato sauce. As you guys know, it's my favorite tomato sauce. Normally at the grocery store, it's about $10. It was $5 at Walmart. So I was tempted to pick up a little bit more. I already have one from Costco. Costco has a really good price on these too. Couscous. Good price, this is $5 at Walmart, and normally at the grocery store it's about $10. Couscous is super easy to make, if you guys have ever made couscous before, so it's a really quick carb option for dinner for us. Josh wanted to try these, because we've never seen those before. I think they were more pricey, because it's a specialty item, and it's individually packaged, but I believe it was probably $2, I wanna say, for that. Uh, so we try, we got a couple for him to try. I can't eat it because it's not it's not dairy or gluten free, but it's got a lot of protein in it. Looks pretty good. So we were just inspecting this a little bit closer. The macros aren't great. Josh is gonna have to do a workout first to earn this. <laughs> okay, same with this, just to try. It's not that healthy. It just has a lot of protein in it. So we don't really recommend that you buy them, but it was kind of a fun thing to, to try. The other thing that looked fun that I can't eat yet, but I'll eat after Whole30's done is I've never seen that Udi's has a mug cake, and I really like mug cakes because they're super fun to make, and they're really easy. So after Whole30's done in two weeks, maybe I'll make like a separate video on how this tastes because I'm very excited. Raisins for my salads because I like uh, sweet, something sweet on top of my savory salads. I normally like to buy organic raisins because you should buy organic grapes because they are sprayed with pesticides, but they didn't have that option, so that's fine for now. But I think this was like $2, it's pretty cheap. Olive oil, so of course, I told you Josh is into his Greek salads lately, and we tried to buy like really high quality olive oil for a good price. This olive oil was $5, and it's got the Whole30 stamp of approval, certified extra virgin olive oil, it's got the organic stamp of approval. Uh, so it's very high quality olive oil, it's also in glass, so that's a plus. This is a really good price for high quality olive oil, and 
Walmart actually had a lot of options on olive oil. So if you wanted to go super cheap, that you, you could go super cheap, or if you wanted to go super expensive, you could too. But you do want to do high quality olive oil, especially if you're using it as a dressing, which Josh is using it for. I was, I'm always very excited <laughs> to find the Primal Kitchen condiments, and Walmart has a good price on them. The steak sauce is really good. It tastes just like A1 sauce. Ingredients are very clean, Whole30 approved, no sugar added, no sugar added to the ketchup either. And the ingredients are super clean. I believe the ketchup's a little bit pricier, like $4, um, but this is about $3. I think it's worth the price. It's really healthy for you. The sugar can sneak up on you with the condiments. So Walmart has the best price on these kinds of condiments. Onion powder, garlic powder, my favorite two seasonings to use on stir fry vegetables and a lot of different things that I make. I just think the combination of these two seasonings is magical. And there's a, they're a dollar each at Walmart. Honey, important to buy honey organic also. Good price on this, think $4 or so for this one. Olives, because of course, Josh is Greek salads. He needs olives. So good price on that too. Coffee beans, we love our coffee in this household. They did not have any organic coffee beans, which was very disappointing. It is important to buy your coffee, fair trade organic for multiple reasons, but they are heavily sprayed with pesticides also. This brand is pretty good, and so I was okay buying it for now. Good price on this coffee. We have a coffee grinder that we really like to use, so we always buy coffee beans. I forgot to tell you guys about my cheesecloths that I bought. Um, I need them to juice my celery. I've just been using a strainer, and I don't want to buy a juicer right now. So this is gonna make my life a little easier with using a cheesecloth instead of a strainer. It's gonna go faster. If you're curious about how I juice my celery without a juicer, go to my Instagram and I have a whole like reel on it. Sometimes we buy LaCroix, but we're not huge LaCroix fans. Sometimes we'll buy LaCroix. We actually love Spindrifts and Walmart normally has good prices on Spindrifts, but they I don't know if they weren't stocking them or they were out of them or what. They had no Spindrifts at all. So we do like this sparkling water bubbly, so we, we've settled on this. About $3 for each of these eight packs, so not too bad of a price. I, we just really love spindrifts, so, but we'll still drink these and enjoy them. <laughs> All right, well, it's starting to snow again. It's getting later. I'm so sorry if the lighting was kind of off in this video. I was trying to hurry with the grocery shopping. It took so long to get to the grocery store because of the snow. Anyways, it's starting to snow again. I'm gonna close out the video here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I also hope that this helped you guys get some ideas on how you can eat healthy on a budget. We definitely stayed within our budget. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you want to. Comment down below on any ideas that you have for me on my grocery hauls and any like cool finds that you found at Walmart that are healthy. And thank you for watching and always remember to be kind to yourself.